Hey Kids Cobbers, it is Make It Monday and today we're making snake bubbles and so I've got here a little bowl, it's got some washing up liquid in it. I have a white sock, it can be any kind of sock, I just happen to have that. I've got a hair band, but if you've got a rubber band, that's fine. A pair of scissors, I've got some warm water. I've got a mug here that's got two teaspoonfuls of sugar in it and I have an old plastic bottle. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make up my bubble solution. So if you've got bubble solution, just use that. But if you don't, this is how you can make it. So I've got my two teaspoonfuls of sugar in here and I'm going to add in some water. And then that way it will dissolve. It's warm water. It's not quite boiled, so it's not too hot, but it's going to help to dissolve the sugar. That's the purpose of that. And then you just let it cool. And then you pour it into your washing up liquid. So I've added it to the washing up liquid. And then I'm just going to mix it up so that the washing up liquid dissolves into the water as well. So it's all together. That is your bubble solution. So you can make bubbles with that now. To make snake bubbles though, you need an old plastic drinks bottle. So if you keep the cap on it for the moment, it's a bit easier to cut and I think you need to get your parents to help you. So you need to cut off halfway down the bottle. So the easiest way to do that is keeping your hands very clear from the blade because scissors are sharp. Give yourself a bit of a pierce. It's very difficult. You might need a sharp knife. Okay, I go in and then I'm going to cut round Ooh, it's a difficult one. So I'm going to cut around here so that I cut the bottom off. Ooh, there's a bit of water in here from me cleaning it. There we go. So I've cut the bottom off the bottle. I don't need that anymore. And then unscrew the lid like this and pull the sock over the top. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. There we go. So I suggest you pull the sock all the way to the very end. And at this point you could add some food colouring if you wanted to. You do a little bit of food colouring on the end of the socks and that will give you some nice colours for your bubbles. But I want to be able to wear this sock again at some point so I'm not going to do that. But just, you don't need to secure it in place, but you want it to be quite tight. So I'm going to put a, a hairband around the neck of the bottle, pulling the sock in. I should have, sorry. So I put pulled the sock up so it's quite tight, added the hairband a couple of times, or a rubber band, whatever you have, and that should just secure it. And then all I'm going to do is pull it back down so that it's not interfering in your mouth. Then you take your bubbles and you give it a bit of a dip. And then hopefully this will work. Blow through the top of the bottle. And there you go. And you can, if there's more than you around, you can have a competition to see who can blow the biggest bubbles. But that's how you make a snake bubble. And so I hope that you will give this a go and send us a picture of you blowing. Oh, these are quite good bubbles, these. And send me a picture of you blowing these bubbles. But I'll see you live at five. So take care for now. Bye.